This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. First, there was nothing but a vast open range. Native bison roam free. Then came the settlers, and with them, a need to define their territory. Soon, miles of fences were built. Territorial disputes ensued. Rights came into question, and the character of the land began to change. When the dust settled, people were once again able to live relatively in peace. The days of the open range were gone. In La Crosse, Kansas, a museum complex celebrates a seemingly mundane chore of fencing with displays on post rock and barbed wire. Some say it was the six-gun that settled the West. Others know better. It was an unusual invention that in a few short years grew into a multi-million dollar industry, barbed wire. It was a simple invention originally designed to protect a small family garden. Within a few short years of its invention, its use had spread across the prairie and eventually around the world. Barbed wire made a number of important contributions to Western history. It redefined the landscape. The legal dispute that erupted between its inventors made its way to the United States Supreme Court and set a precedent in patent law. It made men wealthy and their wealth built public buildings and a major university. It was a simple invention that changed the direction of history and its impact resonates today. The Kansas Barbed Wire Museum is devoted solely to the history and legend of this part of American history, often referred to as the Devil's Rope. On exhibit are over 2,400 barbed wire varieties, including samples manufactured between the years 1870 and 1890. Hundreds of antique fencing tools illustrate the inventiveness of pioneers. The museum presents interesting ways to learn about one of the Midwest's most important contributions to America's history. Dioramas of early barbed wire use, a theater featuring educational films, the Barbed Wire Hall of Fame, the museum archives room, and a research library all help to conjure up images of settling the Midwest, range wars between homesteaders and cattlemen, and the transformation of the open prairie into America's breadbasket. Brad Penka is president of the Kansas Barbed Wire Collectors Association, and you will count yourself lucky to have him show you around. His passion is contagious. The collections are displayed so artfully, so thoughtfully, that I can promise you will never again take barbed wire for granted. Nor will you look at those picturesque rock fence posts in quite the same way. This museum complex is located next to the city park, so there's lots of room for the kids who can't be fenced in to run off some energy. A must for your Kansas bucket list. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Red ripe tomatoes and churned homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream.